So I want to show you how to obtain an estimator for a proportion uh, when we have a stratified sample. So let's suppose that we have a, a population of size n. I have here represented in the figure a population that is divided in uh, several groups, several, several stratum. Let's say L stratum. And um, the, each stratum will have size n1, n2, and so on up to nl. So if we sum all this n1 and 2 up to nl, we, we get a uh, large n. And we are interested in, in uh, getting an estimator for the quantity for proportion of a certain variable y uh, that we know that is given by the sum over all elements in the population divided by the size of the population. Now the first step that we'll take is to um, write this expression for this, this statistics, this proportion, uh, as a sum within each uh, stratum of the y i. So I'm going to call it y 1 i. So uh, we are explicit that, that we are summing uh, within stratum 1 and this is going to be from y 1 up to n1 and then I'm going to sum in stratum 2 all the elements in stratum 2 and so on up to the last stratum and divide again uh, by the size of the population. So this sum of, over the entire population, uh, the only thing that I've done is was to decompose this in the sums within each stratum. It should be clear to you that uh, the sum of all these elements is going to be equivalent to the sum of all elements in population. I'm going to go on writing, decomposing this expression and I'm going to write these sums as proportions. So I'm going to divide and multiply by uh, the size of each stratum. So here I'm going to divide y1y divided by the size of stratum uh, 1. Again, I'm summing from 1 up to the size of stratum 1. And I'm going to multiply this by n1. So I haven't done anything. This 2 and 1 cancel out, so I still have this sum up, up here, and I'll do this again for each stratum, so nl and the sum of y, l, y divided by nl, and here the sum is again from 1 to nl, and divided by the size of the population. Now, what I have here is just the proportion for each strata in the population. So this expression here is n1 times the proportion for stratum 1, call it, call it, I'm going to call it 1 for the variable y, and the same thing will happen for every sum. So for the last one I'll, I'll have the size of stratum times uh, the proportion of y in stratum L. So, finally, this can be simplified as the sum of n k, the proportion at stratum k, for the variable y divided by n and this sum goes from k equals to 1 l which is uh, the size the number of uh, uh, stratums okay so I just show that the proportion in the population can be written as uh, a weighted average of the proportions uh, within each stratum okay And I just noticed a small typo here in this sum. It should not be capital L, but 
the size of stratum L, so NL. Very well, so coming back to uh, uh, the population proportion. Uh, an estimator then for this, this statistics, this parameter in the population, can be obtained in a simple way by just substituting the, uh, the proportion observed in the population per each stratum by the proportion computed in each stratum of the sample. So the estimator little p y is given by again the weighted average but now not the, 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 the proportion uh, for each stratum of the population but the proportion for each stratum of the sample so little p k y divided by the population size and this is the estimator uh, for the proportion uh, obtained in the sample very well a useful another way of seeing this and it's useful because it forces us to think about uh, weights of representation that I've uh, introduced in another video is to think that the each individual in the, in the sample from strata 1, let's say, um, represents its, uh, the, the, straight, the stratum in the population. And if the sample of, uh, obtained from this uh, strata is N1, the weight of representation is given by the size of the stratum in the population, so capital 1, divided by... Um, uh, little n, so the, the sample size for this strata. And the same thing for strata 2. Each individual in the sample represents n2, capital N2, divided by the, strata, the stratum sized in the sample, and so on. Okay, so if you recall from a previous video, We can construct uh, an estimator for uh, a parameter in the population, in this case again the proportion, and just let's write again the, the expression for the proportion in the population. So I'm going back uh, to the initial formula. So I was saying we can construct uh, an estimator for this parameter by uh, substituting each individual in the, in the population by the individuals uh, in the sample and weighting each individual accordingly. So what I have is that each individual in the sample will have a weight that depends on the strata that that individual belongs to. So again, we can decompose this uh, sum. And I'm going now to say approximate in the sense that it's uh, an estimator, we can decompose this sum using individuals now in the sample and for individuals in strata 1 um, I'm going to again call them Y1Y they're going to have a weight as I said as capital N1 divided by small n1 for individuals in strata 2 I'm going to sum I'm going to replace the individuals in the population by the individuals in the sample of in stratum 2 and weight them with the weights for this uh, stratum and so on In stratum L, I'm going to sum LY times NL divided by NL. Okay, so this is an approxima approximation in the sense that this is now is going to be our estimator. And so this is equal, you can recognize that this is going to be the proportion observed in the sample. So, proportion in strata 1 
for the variable y times n1 plus proportion in stratum L for the variable y times n2 divided by n. And again, this leads exactly to the same expression as before, sum over n k times p k y divided by n and y varies from 1 up to L. Okay? So, we obtain the same estimator using two different constructions, and this is the estimator for the, the proportion. You should be able to repeat uh, this process for uh, the, the total sum or the mean.